Okay, so just gonna do a quick video today on how you can make your stairs kind of go off and turn into a different angle. Because I see a lot of maps and what people try to do is they will just grab this edge on their stair set or whatnot and they basically just pull it out like this and then they will slide it to their angle and sure it works but what happens when you're doing that is these stairs are actually getting a lot thinner if you see here how thick this stair is the width of this edge here when you look at it this way it becomes a lot thinner so I'm going to show you a quick way to kind of avoid that and have this where it cuts at this intersection and you don't have that like variation in the width of the step. So what you're going to do is you're going to take whatever angle that you want to uh, turn your stairs by. So uh, we'll just do 30, 30 degrees for today. And so what you're going to want to do is select this top vertice here on one of the corners and you're going to want to do shift s cursor to select it and you should see this little red and white circle show up around that vertice and you want to select your transform pivot point to 3 cursor so you're going to add in a plane here turn 90 degrees and you want to take half of the angle so if you're doing 30 you want to turn it 15 degrees on its side like that and it should have rotated on the point of the vertex so it's not like cutting in or is not touching and now what you're going to want to do is you're going to take this extrude it outwards make sure it's cutting all the way through here it's just barely so i'm just going to scale it up a bit and what you want to do with this slide this edge back a little bit now you want to join them with Control j Select this face, press F3, type in intersect, and then go intersect knife. You can remove these excess faces by clicking X here. Get rid of all these, you don't need those. And then you can delete these extra steps here. So I'm just going to go away. Delete those. Slide this down here, and you can just slide it back. Get that clean edge off the end. And now what you want to do to finish it off is just make sure you got no faces on the side here just because you don't want vertical faces under the ground in Skater XL because your wheels will clip on it. So you're just going to select this, you're going to duplicate with Shift D, move it over, and then you're going to flip or you're going to mirror it in the axis of the direction of the stairs. So for me, I flipped it on the Y axis. And then what you're going to do is you're going to rotate it on the z-axis 30 degrees and you're making sure you're using vertex snap you're just going to snap these together just like that and once you've done that you go in merge them by distance f3 merge by distance and here you go you're going to have this perfect staircase cut at this angle like this there you go.